And then the last point I want to make, it talks about in verse 48, it says, therefore you shall be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. Now for me, I think for a long time, I really struggled with that verse because I thought there's no way I'm ever going to measure up to that. That idea of being perfect does not mean without sin. It means to be complete. It's perfect. It's a picture of completion. You know, when I teach this to children, and even in the children's episode, if you're to listen to it, we talk about this God-shaped hole in our heart that we all have. And we try to fill it with all these different things, with money and alcohol and sex and status, whatever it is. And until we fill that hole with God's spirit, by accepting Jesus and inviting him into our lives, we're going to be incomplete. So when it talks about being perfect as your heavenly father is perfect in heaven, it's that picture of perfection, completion. And as we invite Jesus into our heart and it permeates us from the inside out, that's this idea of perfection. Now we're always going to be a work in progress. And until we get to the other side of heaven, that is not going to be complete. But as much as it can be complete on earth, that's what he's talking about.